So for our first generally available release, we are releasing a public Helm chart to allow you to self-manage your product analytics stack. And so at this URL, you'll be able to find all the information you need in the source code for what all we're installing and how to actually get this all set up on your cloud infrastructure of choice. But let's go ahead and take a look at the architecture itself. We do include documentation in terms of how product analytics works, how you can connect it, and all the SDKs that we provide. So feel free to check out the Helm chart and look at the documentation for more information. But at a high level, architecture for the bundled self-managed stack includes a couple of different things, an event processing layer, a query layer, a management layer, as well as ClickHouse bundled with it. As you scale to meet the needs of your consumers and your deployed applications, it's advised to especially separate ClickHouse from your stack as it will need to scale based on the needs of your consumers and your deployed applications as far as event volume, your storage requirements, and so on. But we wanted to include everything together to give you a very quick start in, in being able to deploy product analytics and being able to use it within your GitLab project or your instance. And so at a high level, we offer a couple of different SDKs uh, that are Snowplow compatible, whether they're Python, Ruby, .NET, Node, JavaScript, and effectively allows you to trigger events based on whether your end consumers are interacting directly with your deployed applications, or if you have backend services, for example, you need to do service to server uh, event collection. So we have a number of SDKs already supported and plan to support more in the future. But at any rate, regardless of the language, we send events to a Snowplow compatible collector, which then gets put into a data pipeline su supported by Kafka. And then it goes through a process of being enriched and adding more information before it gets shipped out to ClickHouse using Vector. From that point on, we're using Cube as a semantic data later in, in order to generate queries and pivot data as we see fit, as well as a management layer to be able to basically set up the cluster and configure it based on projects that you want to connect to it. Of course, we manifest all this information in the monolith, our GitLab application itself, using a proxy for the Cube API, as well as background workers in terms of onboarding projects and things like that, so that ultimately you are able to, as a customer, to query and interrogate the data that you're collecting. 